So I told my husband that this next project was probably my new favorite project. And of course he looked at me like I was crazy because he definitely sees all the DIYs in our house. But I love the way this turned out, you guys. So I picked up a green planter at Dollar Tree. Next, I went outside and grabbed a large stick. Now you want this to be about, I would say about three fourths of an inch to an inch in diameter. I didn't uh, film myself cutting this down because when I cut this down, it was when the temperatures were like in the negatives. So it was just enough for me to run out to my backyard to get a stick and <laughs> bring it inside. So sorry, there's no clip of me getting this stick. Now I did trim up my stick a little bit so that it was in the shape of, basically I was wanting it to kind of be in more of a topiary shape. So you want it to have some branches to it. So I wanted the base of it to just be real clean. And then I wanted a few sticks at the top that I could use to add in some more branches. I went to Walmart and I grabbed three of their olive branches. These are in the floral section. They're $3 each. I've gotten these several times, so hopefully your store has them. Next, I'm gonna start cutting off the individual branches. I want them to be about this long, but you'll see as you get them that when you cut them off, that's about how long they are. Now, how are we going to add these to our tree? Well, I wanted it to look really realistic. So what I did was I took my drill and I put a drill bit on that was about the same thickness as my branches. And I started to drill down into my tree branch. Now you have to be really careful when you do this. You don't want to press too hard. Otherwise your branch is just going to snap. That's why I said, make sure it's at least three fourths to an inch thickness. That way it's it's not going to automatically break whenever you start doing this. And then I'm just going to drill down. Now, if you drill down at an angle, that's going to help whenever you stick the branch in for it to kind of stick up at like the right type of angle that a normal branch would stick out. Like if you did it just sideways, it's going to kind of stick out to the side. So I started by just drilling holes all around and sticking my branches in. Now, some of my branches went through and they stuck really well. Some of them I had to add in some hot glue. So it may just vary, but I did have my hot glue gun out and if I needed it, I'd add a little bit of hot glue to the branch to put it in. Now, as you're doing this, start kind of forming your branches. So kind of move them up, twist them, just to kind of see what they're gonna look like. Then you can see the areas where you need to add in more. I wanted to get my tree set in the pot before I went any farther. Now you could use concrete for this. What I had on hand was plaster of Paris. So what I did was I just put the plaster in the existing pot and then I added in water. When I first did this, I had a little bit of a mess because I forgot about the little opening down at the bottom. So I quickly took some hot glue and just put hot glue on the edge so that I sealed that up so that it wasn't a problem. But you're just gonna mix your plaster or your cement with water and until it's about, I would say, three-fourths of the way up. And then I put my plant in the middle. To hold this in place, you could probably use some popsicle sticks. I had some wooden spoons, so I put those around, but that wasn't strong enough to hold it. So I actually had to use painter's tape and tape around this so it could really hold in place. I let this sit and dry for 24 hours. Then I came back the next day and took the tape off. Some of the areas where I cut the branch off, it, I just felt like they stuck out too much. So I went in with my gray elephant paint and just lightly painted over those areas. I also came in with a white paint and painted over it as well. And yes, it looks like paint, but I think it makes it blend in more. And if you're back from a distance, you don't notice that it's paint. Now I still had a few leaves and branches and olives left. So what I decided to now was go in with my hot glue gun and just start putting in olives and like little branches where I felt like there was some empty areas or sparse areas. Then I filled the whole entire thing up with rocks. I love this piece so much, I put it up on my mantle. 
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.